The question is, how well done do you like your dogs? So I start with some tissue between the no lighter fluid needed charcoal. I like the tissue, the tissue ignites the charcoal. We got a nice fire going. And I just, you know, watch over this fire and let it burn until the coal are completely white, like that. And you don't see the fiery red coals underneath this pile, but they're all about the same temperature. Poke holes into my aluminum foil with a steak knife, cover it up, and then I can add my meat. I just wanted burnt hot dogs. How burnt do you like your dogs? I learned on YouTube that you cover the holes when you want to suffocate the fire, and then you leave them open in order for the oxygen to help ignite the fire. I should have known that from being a teacher. But that's one of those moments when you apply science to learning. When I first put them on, I flip them so that they're cooking thoroughly. And then I just start burning each side. So as you can see, this is on side two. And there's four sides to a hot dog. Yep, I'm not sure if that's as burnt as you like them. But I'm actually going to let these puppies sit. I did close the holes when I went back in to start suffocating the fire as to not leave my girl outside and I just came in and made hot dogs the same way I always did. First I add some ketchup, then my mustard, and last I missed a spot, some relish. that up with my fork then when I went and got my dogs I put them on there do you like your hot dogs this burnt I am upset I have a light skin side but it was so good added some home fried home fries to this not sure if I can stop eating like this <laughs> see you when I see ya peace they come for your dreams, come for your work They make you mean, they make you work They take your work, they take your work Your self-esteem, they make you hurt They make you hurt, they make it seem like it ain't worth it But it's always worth it